so tonight I wanted to show you my top five fall lipsticks for you all and I'm going to be doing more videos in this top five series it's going to be kind of subject to a variety of anything so it could be my top five songs at the time it could be my top five movies it can be my top five actors although there's really only one for me and we all know that this first one is going to be my top five fall lipsticks and all of them now that I'm looking are from the drugstore which I did not do that intentionally however the one high-end lipstick that I always gravitate towards during the fall is max rubble lipstick but everybody and their mother who makes a fall lipstick video talks about it so I wanted to kind of stray away from that although one of them that I do talk about is kind of like Max Rebel. The first one that I have is from Milani and this is the color Sangria. This one is very similar to Max Rebel. It is that like maroony, purpley, berry color. I don't know if you can really see it because the lighting is kind of awkward right now but it's just like that stereotypical purpley color for the fall and the Milani lipsticks smell like Jolly Ranchers, they smell like the watermelon ones, and it is absolutely divine. I've never really tried these before up until a couple months ago, and I do really like them. I like the sleek packaging about them, they have great lasting power, and I do highly recommend them, and I think they're only about like $5.99 at the drugstore. My next lipstick is from the Kate Moss collection from Rimmel, and this is in the shade 06. They don't have color names, it's just kind of the shade number. I love this color. It's a deeper berry red. Sometimes if I want a deeper lip and I want that berry color but I don't want it to be too dark, I'll use a darker lip liner underneath and then put this over it to just brighten it up a little bit. And I love this because it's very versatile. You can darken it up, you can brighten it up, and it can pretty much go either way. You can make it look a little bit more red, you can make it look a little bit more plummy and purple. It just really depends on how you want to wear it. This next lipstick is actually one of the very first lipsticks that I bought when I ventured into doing makeup and it is from CoverGirl and it's called Smitten. It's just a really pretty warm toned purple color and now that I'm looking at it it's almost like Sangria from Milani. It's a little bit lighter and a little bit more mauve -y than this one is. This one's a little bit more purple. I'd say this one's more on the neutral side even though purple isn't a neutral color but I like it. I wear it all the time. It's dark and it shows a pretty dark on my skin tone because I am so fair and it's more neutral so I find that it's a little bit more versatile and I can wear it with more things. And this lipstick was actually um, one of the first lipsticks that I bought when I wanted to do nude colors. As I've mentioned before, I've always been into the bright makeup, the bright lips, everything kind of just bright makeup and when I first started venturing into the nude side of things this is one of the first ones I brought up because it still kind of packs a punch in terms of color not quite nude but it's a little bit more nude and this is the Revlon Color Stay oh no these are the color burst lipsticks in soft rose and this is just a really pretty mauvey pink color it's just a really pretty mid-toned pink and I like this for every day especially when I'm doing like a deeper smokier eye and not quite what I'm wearing right now this is more just every day for me but if I'm kind of darkening it up a little bit I love pairing it with this lipstick and I love the look that it gives and these next two lip products I know that it's technically two separate but I like to wear them together more than I like to wear them separately just because the color on both of these on me is not a hundred percent to my liking but when I combine them I absolutely adore the way it looks this is actually the combination that I wore in my shield debriefing episode and I will have that link down below so you can go and check that out um, the first one is called Berry Heavenly, and this is the kind of more pinky berry one. And then the other one is called Lustrous Lilac, I think. And this is just a deeper purple. I'm going to swatch them separately so you can see what they look like, but like I said, when I wear them, I only wear them together. I rarely ever wear them separately, so. But I do actually really like these, um... These are by Maybelline, I think I said that, and these are the gloss stains, and they smell like the Mr. Etch and Sketch um, smelly markers back from like elementary school. If you're a 90s kid, you know what I'm talking about, and I can't decide if they smell like the light blue or the dark green ones, but either way, they smell absolutely delicious, and it's a complete like slam of nostalgia because I used to sit in class and just sniff the markers, which looking back is probably a terrible thing. 
but I did it. And if you're a 90s kid, you know that you did too. But yes, these are the two colors right here, obviously the purple and the berry, and I love them both. I mean, they're very pretty on their own, just for my personal tastes and liking, I prefer them together. And those are my top five fall lipsticks. I hope that you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you check out my channel, subscribe, all that other kind of stuff. Check out my links down below. And until the next time, I will see you on the next video.